Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me from my sister's bedroom. This video is all about planning and designing the perfect bedroom layout from start to finish. I got the idea for this video because my sister came over to my house and immediately sunk into my brand new bed. This is all courtesy of Brooklinen and thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I've worked with Brooklinen in the past and what I love about the brand is that they offer stylish luxury grade linens at an affordable price. They have cotton percale sheets, they have heathered cashmere, but I especially love the Lux Satin line because it just feels like a five star hotel resort right in your bedroom. Brooklinen has given me a discount code JULIECOO for $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. Shop my favorite affordable luxury bed sheets linked in the description box below. So my sister sank down into my bed and she was like, oh my gosh, these are the softest sheets ever. And I just thought, you know what? I want to redo her entire bedroom from start to finish. Except that clearly I have a baby on the way. By the time you watch this video, the baby will be here in a few short weeks. So it's not like I can conceptualize this grand bedroom scheme and install everything in a flash. So I thought I would take you along the entire planning process from start to finish so you see exactly how I work with clients to plan a bedroom design. And there you have it. I am typically not a dark sheets type of girl, but my sister loves dark sheets. I told her that in a room where you get, you know, a lot of really beautiful light, you could have dark sheets and it still looks really fresh and bright. I love the Lux Satin because it has a slight little shimmer to it. So the minute the light hits it, there's still a little bit of like glitz and glam. My style and my sister's style could not be more different. She's super simple. She doesn't like a lot of decorative flourishes. She really just likes to work with what's functional and call it a day. For me, as a designer, I'm constantly designing, redesigning, conceptualizing, shopping, sourcing, specifying new creative ways to make my space work for me. If you're a longtime follower of this channel, you'll know that I love crisp, clean white sheets. I love to start with the fundamentals of white or ivory or really natural colored sheets and start layering on color. For my sister, you'll see that her bedroom is just this really dark and sexy kind of cavernous space. She loves bold colors like red, but she likes to neutralize a look with a softer bed frame. The upholstered bed that you see behind me is something that I picked out for her as well. And the bedding, she wanted it dark. And I just thought, you know what? There's a lot of darkness in the space already. Why don't we lighten it up with like a lighter duvet? That way you can change out the duvet cover, but have the foundation of a darker sheet so it still feels like that really sexy, cozy vibe. A lot of you already might have the bed situated and you're looking to design around it. Here are the exact steps I take when planning a bedroom project for a client. The first step is to sketch out the room and measure the space. You don't need anything fancy to do this. All you need is a blank white sheet of paper and a pen and just sketch out the room. You want to take into consideration all of the door openings and all of the windows so that you could purchase window treatments and also note all the door clearances so that furniture doesn't get in the way. The second step is to measure your bed and place the bed in the space. You might want to use the bed as a focal point and in this case you would center the bed on the command wall in your bedroom. The command wall has everything to do with feng shui and how qi enters your space and permeates it so that you feel more positive and uplifted in the space. Next is time to determine the function of the bedroom and demarcate the zones. Clearly, as you can see, my sister's bedroom is probably about twice the size of most bedrooms. It's definitely twice the size of my bedroom. So sometimes the function can be unclear when you have so much space to work around. 
Judging from what's happening in the space, let's talk about the primary function and needs. You need to take inventory of what is currently existing in the space and try to determine your needs and function from that. You can see that she has her bed in place, but she doesn't have any functional nightstands. You'll remember from my design hacks video, five things that every bedroom needs, nightstands are a huge priority. You need nightstands so that you have a surface tabletop to set something down on. It could be a glass of water, it could be your phone, it could house table lamps that give you a little bit more ambient or task lighting. To me, nightstands are absolutely essential, not only for the function of having a surface tabletop that's next to your bed, but it could also provide additional storage if you need that. You'll need to measure the area that you have for nightstands. In this case, you want to measure the negative space that is next to the bed. Length times width times height. I typically like nightstands not to exceed the height of the mattress. So in this case, you also want to measure from the floor to the top of the mattress so you'll get the height of the nightstands. After the nightstands, you'll see that there's already a dresser in space, so she doesn't lack storage. But I feel like what's missing from the space is additional storage unit. You'll see that the surface tabletop of the dresser is littered with all of her personal belongings. There's a really easy fix for this. You can either have a tray or some sort of organizer, or you could also even have like an entry valet station or a console right when you enter the space so there's a drop-off zone for all of your little belongings. This will make the dresser seem a lot neater, a lot tidier, and it won't look so chaotic in the room. She still has a ton of space to the left of the bed, and she used to actually have a little sitting area here. But like me, my sister is going to have a baby soon and I am so excited to outfit this entire little wing as a makeshift nursery area so that the baby can co-sleep in their room. I imagine having a crib in here, maybe a rocking glider, just all of those little nursery essentials that will make life so much easier in those first few months after having a newborn. Since you already have the space completely measured out, you'll need to measure all of the potential furniture that's coming into the space as well so you know exactly where to place it. This means measuring the crib, measuring a chair, measuring lounge chair, seating, a sofa, an end of bed bench, pretty much whatever you can fit in the space, you need to measure it all out. Next comes measuring the windows for window treatments. There's only two light sources in this room. We have glass block windows that are currently directly in front of me, which she has no problem with. I mean, she likes the amount of light that's permeating the space, so we're not gonna address those windows at all. However, behind me, she gets no privacy from the peering neighbors, so she wanted window treatments that would completely close off the back elevation behind her bed. When she purchased this house, we literally just put up these like makeshift curtains and I didn't even think twice about it. It was functional. I really wanted her to live in the space and to see if this is something that she wanted to commit to. And here we are five, six years later and she still has these really basic window treatments up. To me, there are so many ways for us to find a more stylish and creative solution for this, and that is something that I wanna walk you through. You always wanna determine the function of the window treatments first, so you can decide whether or not shades or blinds or curtains or heavily lined drapery panels are the solutions to your issues. Not only do you need to measure the length and the width and the depth of each window opening, you also wanna measure the length from wall to wall. This will also help you determine how far those window treatments span from the left and the right of the window opening. If you'd like more tips when specifying the right window treatments, definitely check out my video, The Ultimate Guide to Window Treatments. I talk about function, I talk about measuring, I talk about colors, shapes, sizes, materials. Pretty much we run the full gamut of what to specify for your windows. You as the client or the homeowner are in charge of creating your ultimate mood board. This is your chance to dream big. I always tell my clients to scour Pinterest or Instagram or even design magazines or design websites to look for inspiration images that mimic their own style and aesthetic. In this case, it's my sister's responsibility to come up with an entire vibe for her space. It could be nightstand images that she loves in relation to the color of her bed, 
maybe a little nursery station of the colors and the textures and the patterns that she loves. Once she delivers all those inspiration images to me as the designer, it is my job to interpret her style and produce the bedroom of her dreams. Once we have all those measurements and the mood board in hand, it's time to go shopping. For a lot of you, that's the fun part. And for a lot of you, that's the not so fun part because it's just so overwhelming. But I promise that if you have a plan in hand, it just makes everything so much simpler. The final step is to install all the components and style away. And there you have it. That is a complete planning process from start to finish. Sometimes all you need is a little kick of inspiration like really beautiful bedding to get you dreaming of your perfect bedroom layout. Once this baby pops, I will be back to completely finish the space from start to finish. I'm going to be taking you along every single step of the process along the way and I cannot wait to show you how it all pans out. I'm just so happy knowing that my sister, while pregnant, is going to have the most sumptuous bedding to curl up into and to start looking for inspiration images for her dream bedroom. If you want to design and plan the room of your dreams, definitely check out the complete step-by-step -step process in one of my most popular series. It's the Dream Space series where I help you detail every single step from start to finish. I'll link the entire playlist in the description box below so it's a little bit easier for you to reference. Thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video and be sure to check out Brooklinen and all of the sumptuous luxury bed linens. Use my code JULIECOO for $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. If you like this type of content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions when it comes to planning and designing the bedroom of your dreams. Share this video with anyone you know embarking on a brand new bedroom design. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.